So no explanation for... Or even how he found Silas? I mean, er... Oh no. Yep. You see? God is on my side. And now your fate is sealed. No, because I've played this before and you are the worst shot ever. I mean, they tried to create a sense of urgency, but still. Yeah, and now I can't even move because the game wants him to catch up to me. Pathetic attempts to escape only anger God. The righteous are upon you. Hold fast and accept your duel. I would like to move now. Let me move, game. Do I have to watch this? <sighs> yeah, we're going to solve this puzzle there over and over. No escape from the hand of God. Seize your pointless struggle and beg for forgiveness for your treachery against heaven. Okay, there we go. Now we do another quick time event. Oh, he finally hit me. And he's programmed to just keep walking. Yeah, I know I failed. Continue. Game. I mean, I'm sorry, the programmers just got lazy on this level. They really did. I mean, the other levels before this I really enjoyed and they were really well done, but... This level's had some bugs, it's had that horribly done puzzle, it's just... Ugh. And there's been problems with the plot. Uh, Robert's personality, his character has gone under changes that make him way less likable. Come on! There we go, now I get to go sooner. Thank you. And again, there's really not much sense of urgency in this. I hope Sophie's safe. Yeah, she probably is. Notice how he reset closer to us. Okay, up, down, there. Doom has come there. There is nowhere to run. Goes up, down, there, and there. Gotcha. Get, get the box. Come on, let's get this over with. Only the blessed can know the path of God. Your time is at an end. Yeah, yeah, more quick time events. Because everybody loves quick time events. Faster this one, not gonna make it. Yes, you are. Another jammed gate. All we have to do is the exact same quick time event over and over. Good game, let me move. There can be no mercy for the. Let me move here. Thank you. Game, don't let me get stuck there. Up, down, there, there. A pathetic lying war, squirming in the mud and failed to try to run from your fate. No, I'm trying to get away from you with a gun. Yeah, this level really just makes the game lose momentum and you just want to get it over with. Yeah, yeah. Oh, correction, Sophie didn't have a axe, she had a sledgehammer. He has a gun. Our little game is not a dead. Fall to your knees. 
beg for the forgiveness of God, I might let you. Uh, did you really need the close up? And that was lame. What a pathetic attempt. Did you really think you could stop the hand off? Yes. And Sophie kills so someone again. Now. Filthy Seriously, a sledgehammer to the back of the head should kill him. They must be holding taping at Westminster. Let's go. Okay. So, yeah. That's that. Just. Uh. All right, I'll save over this Westminster and show you guys the opening cutscene for... we'll have to watch it again, but still. Oh, excuse me. But, yeah, this level just... Ugh. I want to say something good about it, but... even the writing for it was terrible. I sincerely hope that the book and the movie weren't this bad. Just, ugh. I mean, the game's, you, the level was pretty, but I mean, this level's pretty too. Very pretty. So yeah. Uh, as you guys can tell, I'm pretty speechless. That level was just terribly done. Ugh. Just, ugh. There are no words, really. I've already said everything about it, um, yeah. You are here. There's Remy. We still don't really know why he's involved, and who the heck and he is. And there he goes. Should we follow him? No, they've got guns. So. He has the advantage now. What we need is some leverage. He may have the click text, but I don't think he can solve it without us. The question is, will T being be able to solve it without us? If he does, they will kill him. We'll have to solve it first. If we have the answer, we can trade it for T being and hopefully get all of us out of here alive. Let's go over the score once more. In London lies okay. a knight, a pope interred. His labor's fruit are holy wrath and curled. As I recall, Sir Isaac Newton's burial was attended by kings and nobles. Mm -hmm. Presided over okay. by Alexander Pope, his friend and colleague, a Pope. who gave a stirring eulogy before sprinkling dirt on the tomb. Alexander Pope? It's perfect. Newton is our knight. Okay, let's check out people. Alexander Pope, Peter Manley. I want to see who Remy is. Yeah, we've got him. We've got Sister Marguerite and Sandri. <laughs> we don't have any of the main characters in here. That uh, kind of defeats the perfect or the purpose of it. Wow. Uh, so yeah, I don't remember who Remy is if we've covered him before. Just uh. Sonier's Mansion. Yeah, I just... Uh, the plot... Uh, I'm Phil. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I didn't. <laughs>